Okay, so now welcome to part four and probably the final part of our Python guessing game uh, using a GUI uh, created in TK Inter. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have so far. We have a number guessing game where you guess a number from one to ten and the computer tells you uh, if it's higher or lower. So in this case, lower, lower, so I'm going to guess it's one. Correct. Uh, we also have a reset function where it changes the number and tells us that it's been reset. So two, okay, three, and four. Okay, so basically, functioning game, everything looks great. Um, just a couple things, you know, to think, learn a little bit more about how TK Inter works, and just kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Um, what I want to do is I want to change this background color to white. I don't really like the gray. Um, I want to make sure you know everything matches that. And also, if you notice one thing, like when I make a guess, this is something I don't like as, as well. So if I hit, oops, let's say two, the two is still in there. I, I really don't like that, having deleted each time. So what I want to do is I want to make it so that it's automatically deleted when I run run the code. So let's take a look at how to do a few of those things. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is change the background color of the root window. Okay. So we're going to do that here. So uh, change root window background color. And it's pretty simple. We just go, we just type root.configure. And as before, just we had, well, we had FG here. This is going to be BG. And I'm just going to make it white. Okay, so let's save that run it. Okay, so we take a look. Now you see how this is white, this is white, but notice the labels are still gray. Gray is the default. Okay, nice job. Gray is the default. Lovely. Um, let's change all those to white as well. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit easier in some ways. Um, so what we'll do is for our, our titles, um, what we'll do is we'll add BG equals white. Okay, copy and BG equals white. Now let's test that. See what it looks like. Okay, I think it looks a lot nicer. White background. You know, we've got uh, white labels as well, so it looks looks pretty nice. Let's close that, and then we can also change the uh, background color of the buttons if we wanted to. Um, so we could copy this as well and just kind of put that into there so that we have a foreground color and a background color. Yeah, you can play around with it and choose whatever colors you like. Okay, so we take a look. So you can see now the buttons are white. So the hover is gray, but we'll save that for another day. And so I think it looks, yeah, looks kind of nice. It looks a lot more convenient, or consistent, rather. Now, a couple things here. Uh, I don't like that this says TK. Uh, we want to change that. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Oops, wrong one. Sorry, I like, like my screen nice and clean. Um, so we're going to change the title. So we're going to go to after we created the root thing. So change title. So we're going to go root. And this is a really hard one to remember, so you might want to write this down. Title. Okay, so uh, guess the number. So I'm going to save it, run it, and you can see how it's changed from TK to guess the number, but it's kind of cut off. I really, really don't like that. Uh, I don't know if just uh, OCD or what, but let's, let's make our window size. Uh, let's set that. Uh, to something. So I'm going to close that and so we're going to change size and for this one we're going to use something called geometry. So you, but you thought you'd never have to deal with that again after you got out of school. And I've already measured it and I've kind of played around with it a little bit but basically I found that on my computer at least 250 by 75 gives me uh, the size I want. So 250 pixels wide by 75 pixels tall. Let's try that. Okay, so that gives us kind of a nice layout. Um, I can see the entire title. I can see, you know, Welcome to the Guessing Game. Everything looks really nice. And of course, I'm assuming that everything still works.
Okay. Now this is the last thing I wanted to fix because I, I really dislike this. I don't want to have to hit delete and then enter the number every time. Okay. So I'm going to learn a new TK enter you know, method for uh, entry boxes, and it is well. First, we got to think about where do we want it to happen. Um, so it's after we make a guess. So that's under check. So we show the result, and then what we're going to do is clear guess. And the way we do that is we use the delete method. So text guess dot delete. And we have to tell it which characters to delete. So from zero, which is the first character, until how far. Now our text is going to be pretty small, so let's let's just pick five and see what happens. So from the zeroth character to the fifth character. Now there is no fifth character, so hopefully we won't get an error error message. But if we do, we can fix that. Let's try five. Okay, so it's deleted everything. Do you notice that? Let's try it again. Oh, five was correct. Let's uh, reset. Try five again. Okay, higher. Notice the number doesn't remain. And as a nice bonus, it's got focus now. So I can just hit eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so now this week we could have gotten fancy. We could have used length and all that sort of thing. But you know, in our game, I can't imagine that it's going to be over five characters. So it's not a, it's not such a big deal. Um, so there you have it. That's a, a very simple text guessing game. Um, in this lesson, you know, we learned how to change the background color of the root window. We changed the background color of the labels. We changed the background color of the buttons. Okay. And we also changed the title of the root window. And we changed the window size, uh, the, the window geometry. Okay. So, you know, it's a very bare bones, uh, very simple game, but it teaches you a lot of the different concepts of getting started with TK Enter. And to be honest, I just learned how to do this uh, a few hours ago myself, and I thought I'd share share this uh, with everyone as I was kind of teaching myself how to do it. So, uh, yeah, so please, uh, you know, follow me or, or whatever, either on Twitter at uh, Tokyo EdTech or on Google at my YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Take care.